video gonna be about Shaka Khan just getting a rock and roll intro for Hall of Fame introduction. Are you kidding me? You know, I was reading some turkey that was writing for some newspaper talking about that Stevie Nicks and Tud Rundgren are no-brainers. As usual, they always downplay African-American artists. I wonder why. But anyway, that's another story, another theme. But let's be realistic. Stevie Nicks was really, really great with Fleetwood Mac and a marginal solo career. I did like Don't Stop Dragging My Heart Around with Tom Petty. Stand Back, you know, was a catchy cut, all that. She did that one with Prince and all that. But her solo career ain't nothing to ride home about. No leather and Lace, she had some cuts. But Shaka Khan, I mean, come on now. You I mean, you just say her name was in a song. You know what I'm saying? Shaka Khan and Rufus was big, okay? I mean, how many acts in R&B had black female lead singers with a band behind them? And she's a bad drummer to boot, okay? And she still got pipes. But how many acts came behind Rufus and Shaka Khan were inspired by her? Think about Rolls Royce. Think about SOS band, Atlantic Star. I mean, you can hear her influence on so many acts and so many styles of music and R&B. But then again, you know, R&B, code word for black, so it doesn't get the same love as the pop side of the fence. But you can't tell me with a straight face if you know anything about Shaka Khan and what she's meant as an artist, that she doesn't deserve more love. She should have long ago been in twice. First as a, in the band with Rufus, and of course now as a solo act. She's had that kind of impact. Think about Kanye West's very first solo hit through the wire with the ticket through the fire think about that for a moment that's what got her got his career rolling I mean, Shaka Khan has been like hugely influential seeing so many styles of music you know been an inspirational artist on so many levels so it's an insult and I'm sure there's no blood between her and Stevie Nicks but let's be realistic Stevie Nicks can't, can't, couldn't carry Shaka Khan's hot comb her hot comb, mm -mm. with the plug in or out, with batteries or no batteries. Shah Khan is one of the most important. She's on my uh, female Rushmore, especially R&B, but maybe all the way around through, because she's one of the most important artists ever, when you think about it. You know, She's had that kind of impact. She sings all kinds of styles of music. You could put her with so many different styles and themes of music and not miss a beat, you know? been bad always bad to the bone you know i remember just the, the the artist she's played with i mean who else i want to see stevie nicks do a song with quincy jones and miles davis you know i want to see that i want to see that show me that versatility that's what shaka khan got tell me something good alone you know that's what rufus and shaka khan that's a household song so you know she bad but again you know it's double status but shaka khan should have been in the rock and roll hall of fame long ago one of the most important versatile artists ever. And you can quote me on that. I'm on racist rock and roll hall of fame. It's garbage. I wish they didn't even have to even go through that because they don't ever get it right no way. And this is another example. Chuck Khan, you ask somebody around the way of a certain time and period and age, they'll tell you about what Chuck Khan meant, what she's about as an artist. What's my take? Feel free to hit them comments. What's my take? Show Chuck Khan some respect. Peace.